beaches, ruins, and Mediterranean cuisine. No, it's not Greece. It's its nearby neighbor, Turkey. The land of Turkish delights and Salt Bay. No, not you. The Salt Bay, the Turkish chef famous for sprinkling salt on his steak. This is Jenny and Kevin, and welcome to Eat by the Travel. In today's video, we're gonna take you back to October 2019 for our trip to Turkey. In our previous video upload, we featured the magical region of Cappadocia, a region in the eastern part of the country that is famous for its hot air balloons and cave houses. But there's more to Turkey than Cappadocia. So get ready to meet the coastal city of Antalya and the city that famously sits between both Asia and Europe, Istanbul. Before we begin, we wanna give you a quick thanks for watching. We might be new to vlogging, but we're not new to traveling. For the last six years, we've traveled to 18 countries and visited so many beautiful places that we want to share with you. So we went on this trip, we didn't necessarily know that we would end up doing a vlog, so please forgive us for the limited footage. We did our best in putting together this vlog, so we hope you enjoy it anyway. On October 24th, we jumped on a non-stop plane from Chicago to Istanbul. We were ready for the beach, so we headed straight to Antalya. Antalya is a city on the Mediterranean coast of Turkey. It's a beautiful resort destination popular in East Asia with its turquoise blue beaches and a historic old city center. We felt safe exploring the small city during the day and at night. We'd heard about a beautiful beach town just an hour outside of Antalya with historic ruins, which we'll show you in a minute. But first, let's enjoy this boat ride from the marina. We got hungry and went hunting for food. We found this restaurant on the edge of the cliff with incredible views of the Mediterranean Sea. We sat down to order, but due to some language barriers, we accidentally ordered enough food for a family of five. Come to the restaurant and you're like, yeah, I just do some seafood and some whatever is Turkish. They deliver you this. Oh. I'm gonna eat all that. It's okay though, we figure out how to make room for dessert. So we went for ice cream. Chicago. We ordered a scoop of ice cream and quickly learned it's not easy to get one. From Antalya, it was about an hour bus ride to Olympos, a beach town protected from resorts and luxury hotels to preserve its natural and historic importance. Who needs resorts when you can stay in a cool treehouse hostel? We stayed at Kadir's treehouse. Yup, we slept in a treehouse and it was a super cool experience. We don't have footage of our room, but the common areas were super colorful and comfy. The Olympus archaeological site and beach is a 15 minute walk from our treehouse hostel and has impressive ruins dating as far back as 4th century BC. Its crystal clear beach is also a nesting ground for turtles, but sadly we didn't get to see any. From Olympus, we took an overnight bus to Cappadocia for $15. This first class experience included in-flight service. But Cappadocia is a separate video, so let's skip to Istanbul. We bought a one-way flight from Nefshahir to Istanbul for $50 each. In Istanbul, we were on the hunt for Salt Bay's restaurant. And on the way, we stopped to enjoy the views of the city where the east meets the west. With only three days to explore the city, our priorities were to visit famous landmarks, cross the canal over to another continent, and eat as much Turkish food as possible. Lucky for us, there was food everywhere. We love us some street food. Vendors had tents set up all along the Istanbul Canal to sell fish sandwiches fresh from the Black Sea and the Mediterranean Sea. 
They were like food trucks, except in the water. Can we just take a moment to say how amazing the fish was here? Ooh, remember the fish market? Especially at the fish market. The fish market has a food court with a variety of local foods on the menu. Our two favorite items were the fish soup and, oh my god, the fried anchovies. Nothing like the anchovies from the U.S. For dessert, there are options all over, from Turkish delights to baklava and all kinds of pistachio-based desserts. But my favorite dessert? The kunefe. A sweet cheese pastry fried and doused in syrup. Oof. When it was time to burn some calories to make room for the food, we decided it was time to explore the world's oldest and largest market, the Grand Bazaar. The Grand Bazaar has 61 streets and over 4,000 shops. We were also still on the hunt for Salt Bay, and our sources had told us that the original Salt Bay restaurant was located somewhere inside the bazaar. I honestly don't know how we found it, but we did. And we didn't get to meet Salt Bay, whose real name we can't pronounce, but we found his steakhouse and his wax sculpture. We didn't eat here because we were still full from previous food. But we still made it to a second Istanbul location. And yes, we fell for the hype. And yes, it was worth it. Thank you for watching. We hope you like this video despite our limited footage. And stay tuned for the next upload because we've got a major announcement coming soon. Oh, we gotta go because this steak is getting cold. Cheers. Bye.